here we are. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Yes. It's not like we've already said hello and put the cars here and then no. set the camera up. Do you, do you come here often? Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And well, another video with Ben. We have listened to your feedback actually. We've done a few videos together and many of the comments say that you would like to see more. So. For whatever reason. For whatever reason, and yeah. Thanks I... to you guys, I have to spend time. <laughs> <laughs> but what's also convenient is that I have a Z4 Roadster still, of course, and Ben's recently got his coupe. And so it got us thinking that it would be a great idea to start a little mini series with the two cars, um, especially sort of during the month of December, where people are spending more time at home, got some more time for some entertaining content. And so, yeah, basically, I think we should do a series on Z4 Coupe versus Z4 Roadster, and it should be really interesting. This episode here, is going to be more introductory. Right. Um, there's less we can do at the moment with the, the COVID stuff currently. So it's going to be more introductory. We're going to go for a drive. And um, well, I'm just basically going to tell you all the reasons why my car is better than yours. <laughs> it's funny because it's actually my car that's better than yours. <laughs> yeah, OK. Well, that's yeah. going to be... <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Your car was clapped, mate. Yeah, well, so was yours. Wow. Yours is like the cheapest coupe in the country. Well, exactly. 170,000 miles you've just gone yeah. over. I thank Car for all for that. Everyone likes a high, high mileage hero. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a hero though. <laughs> bit of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's the plan for today. It's going to be a little bit of a waffle in the cars. Um, should be fun though. You didn't bring your walkie talkies, did you, you melon? <laughs> well, someone didn't tell me. Yeah, all right. But look, oh, in this series, yeah, stop talking. I'm actually uh, addressing you the camera. What? I'm addressing my audience. You need me more than I need you. <laughs> so. To be fair, I kind of don't know anyone else. Well, I know like one person with the coupe. They're rare, aren't they? they Which is one thing rare. going for you. Yeah, um, bragging rights, I suppose. But yeah, I guess uh, in the series, there's, there's a few things I've got lined up, actually. We're going to do a road trip, hopefully. Um, to see which is the best road trip car. We're also going to do a dyno with both the cars to see which one has lost or not lost the most power over the years and some various practicality fun challenges as well. It's going to be a bit of a laugh. Um, and yeah, actually, I'm looking forward to making it because it is just going to be that. So today, let's go for a drive. Uh, we can't walkie talkie, so I'll give you a ring. Cool. It's the safest way of doing things at the moment. And also, the weather's a bit interesting, so it, it could make for some fun driving today. It's a lovely day for it, isn't it? Beautiful day for it, really. <laughs> I love like 20 metre visibility. Oh, it's the best, especially, especially when I'm driving for... someone else's car. Yeah, it's the best. Absolutely love it. Anyway, let's get in the cars um, so I don't have to see your face again. Cool. And uh, let's go for a drive. Right. I'm going to call Ben. This is how we're going to communicate. What do Hello, you ben. want? Hello, Ben. Hello, Joel. How are you? I'm good, Ben. How is it in your coupe? It's very warm because I have a roof. That is a good point. I actually really want to put the roof up because this is just god awful. I'm just adjusting my feet after you ruined it. When you ruined <laughs> it. <laughs> Look, Ben, my suggestion, let's go for a little drive. And I think we should play a little game of my penis is bigger than your penis, a.k.a. automotive top trumps. Right. It's just not true, though, is it? Well, that's, that's, that's left to be discovered. Let's ask these lovely people here, shall we? Well, firstly, Ben, mine sounds better than yours. <laughs> I won't argue against that, to be fair. Um, no, you won't argue. Do me a favour, just look in your mirror at Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just, just look in your mirror, just stay there. <laughs> you are a bellend. <laughs> Did I go in the car? I hate you. Hang on. Oh, Ben, the side of your car looks clean. That didn't work. Mate, but... the whole back end of your car is covered as well. Brilliant, yeah, and my windscreen and my interior. <laughs> that was a pretty good shot, my money. That was pretty good, wasn't it? You <laughs> are a wind. It's on the inside of your windscreen. I know it is. 
It's in my air vents! <laughs> right, you. Oh, he's doing it again. Right, that's enough of right. This has been nothing but nonsense for the viewers already. Let me go first. <laughs> Back end of his car. <laughs> Yep, I think I'll turn traction control back on. Right, Ben, so far we've established three things. Number one, you're a complete imbecile. Number two, my car sounds better than yours. And three, well, I can put my roof down and you can't. Not that it's exactly the, the weather for it. I'm just faster though, aren't I? I've got mud all over my like gear shifter, on the seats, on the windscreen, on the inside of the windscreen. So Ben, as we're cruising currently, what MPG are you currently getting? I'm in sixth gear at 45 miles per hour, because we of course have different engines, don't forget. You've got the three liter SI with 260 odd brake horsepower. I've got the three litre I with 231. I'm currently getting 51.3 miles per gallon. 32. 32? That's my average. I'm getting 51 right now. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I've just reset it. Six gear, 45 miles per hour. I'm now averaging 56.4. Okay, I'm going to reset mine. I don't, I'm not having this. There we go. 80, 85, 65, 53, 46. Oh, I was going down. But that's not what these cars are about. So let's just drop it down a gear and bloody go for it, shall we? Why not? My car's on your own. <laughs> let's cause a massive crash. <laughs> Not the weather for it. No, let's back out. My MPGs though, uh, it's gone down to 22. Mine's still 42, so shove that up your ass. <laughs> Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Right, mate, I'm gonna uh, pull over because this roof needs to go up. I am freezing cold. Nah, see, I don't need to pull over to put my roof up. Right, Ben, let's play catch me if you can. I'm doing 20, I'm in second gear. I'm gonna floor it and you're gonna try and keep up. Sound good? <laughs> let's go. accelerated and maintained that gap. He did not gain on He didn't gain, he's moaning about how he can't hear me, but that's not important. My Roadster maintained the gap from the coupe. Therefore, I don't think the power difference is really that noticeable, but we're gonna have to just see when we get the car's dyno, which one's lost the most power, because he's got 170,000 miles on the clock. I've got 158. So we've both probably lost a fair bit of power from what the factory quoted. But, as I saw it there, nothing in it. These cars, like, 
forget the uh, slating match between Ben and I. These cars are great fun. I mean, 230 brake horsepower in my one. It's a pretty wet day. I've got traction control completely off, bumpy roads, and you can still use all the power. That's what's so great about them. My other car, a 2 Series, 240i, it's uh, too fast. It's too fast to use on roads like this. It's simple. It just is. Um, otherwise, you're just driving it in auto, in eco mode, because that's the only way you can drive it. This, you can give it all the beads, wherever you are, whenever you are, if that makes any sense. Um, although this fog does make things a little bit more dif different. Ben, have you got any thoughts? Have you got any thoughts, Ben? You know what, pull over, let's settle this at the side of the road. Uh, yeah, pull over. I'm going to do you. <laughs> it's just when I rear-end you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she... Oh. She was cute, wasn't she? <laughs> and guess what, Ben? She liked the look of my car more than yours. Did she? Well, I suppose she would, because your car is a bit more of a hairdresser's car. <laughs> yeah, she did. I actually could see that she was looking at mine for a longer period than she was looking at you. What are you got to say about that? Nothing apparently. Well, that's what I thought. This is going to be 20 minutes of me just sat here going, Eh? I can't hear you, Joel. I can't bloody hear you. I'm on the field, we're on the old blower. I can't hear you, mate. Oh, well, that's probably enough uh, waffle. I suggest we pull over and have a little chat together. Uh, where it's a bit easier to hear each other and so that we don't feel so inclined to just swear at each other the whole time. As funny as that might be, it's probably not that useful information for you guys. <laughs> as much as I do enjoy it. I have to say, and look, I've, I've ended the call with Ben now so he can't hear me say this, that coupe does look good in my rear view mirror. I think I've spent most of the time driving just looking at it. It is a, it's a good looking car. I, mean, I don't know what you guys think. I think they both, I think they both age tremendously well. But there's just something about the coupe with its timeless shape, the fact that you don't really get anything that looks like that anymore. Um, it just, yeah, it just has aged tremendously well. I don't think anyone's disputing that. And yeah, it does look so good in my rear view mirror. But I wouldn't tell Ben that, give him the satisfaction. suited for these cars. I think ben might have a little bit more of a rough time than I will here. Oh god, what, why has he brought me down here? My car's on coilovers for god's sake and you've brought me into a pothole infested bloody dirt track. Which of course traction control is going off. <laughs> oh god, probably. Oh, it's a bit deep there. Yeah, not a good idea. God, it'd be smoother to drive on the bloody grass, you idiots! Okay, oh dear. Seems I've actually... I've just bottomed myself out, Ben. You moron. No, no seriously. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, you that's the right number. That's actually... It's actually touching the floor. Yes, I know. Is that gonna... <laughs> That'll be fine. You just try and pull yourself out, wheel spin, and pull you back in. You won't be able to get out, it's fine. I can leave, my car's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look mate, I thought we'd pull over because it wasn't really working with the phone signal stuff. Yeah. Next time bring your walkie talkies. We will do. <laughs> <laughs> but also, this is just sort of an introductory episode to really actually just spark some ideas from you guys. Of course, I've got some of my own ideas, power test, road trip things like that looking forward to those but you want to have we want to hear from you guys as well as always we always enjoy it so uh, if you've got any suggestions of things you'd like to see these two cars do please please comment below right now because we'll be more than up for it 
within within reason, I think. The we? first thing I want to see your car do is pull itself out that hole. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you can suggest all you like, but there won't be any videos if it's not coming out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Right, guys, well, thanks for tuning into this disaster anyway. Hope you've enjoyed it. Are you uh, stood there to hide the wheel arch? <laughs> uh, maybe I'll put a clip at the end, guys, of me attempting to get this out, and uh, I'll keep you posted. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, and do subscribe, obviously, for the future episodes of this Z4 showdown, and uh, we'll see you both very, very soon. Wish me luck, man. Uh, no. That's not very nice. Wow. Look at the situation I've got myself into. Think how you would feel, man. Well. <laughs> you don't have to feel like that. You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm all right, thank you. Reverse? Yeah, I'd reverse. I heard the noise when I stopped. Like, I was like, that's... We're quite low here. I bet that's the front bumper. And then I got it. <laughs> and you thought, oh, that's a bit low. So, oh, the chassis is touching the ground. Oh. Not ideal. Well, I like your fitment, fat though. Bastard, otherwise it would snap. <laughs> I like your rear fitment, though, mate. Go on. Oh, what have you been so dramatic for? That was uneventful, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, there we go. There will be more episodes then. Can't wait. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> My pointed, Zach.